Hi everybody, JC Melvin here, and today we're gonna to take a few minutes out of the two-day Train the Trainer program that we do across the country. And we're gonna to focus today on the four adult learning styles. Now, I know that all adults have different ways that they input information, auditory, visual, and kinesthetic. They feel it, okay? We're not talking about that because the four different learning styles all employ those different ways of inputting information. Today we want to talk about the four learning styles and more important than that, we're going to focus on the question that each of the four learning styles asks in a classroom. So we're going to take this wheel, if you will, this circle, we're going to cut it into four. We're going to label it one, two, three, and four. The questions that the part one learners ask is why? What they want to know is why am I here? Why is the information important? Why should I be involved in this learning environment? So we've got to answer that question. Two, the part two learner, they're focused on the what. What is the information? What is the data? What is it that's going to change my point of view of anything? These folks here are the type of folks that are open to lecture. By the way, I'll say that lecturing adults is the least, the least, uh, I don't want to say the least best way but it's the least effective way of training adults. We want to stay away from lecture at all costs, but if there were any one of these four type of learners that would be open to a little bit of a lecturette, it would be the twos because they want data and lecture imputes a lot of data in a short period of time. The type three learners, they're asking the question, how? How does it affect me? How does it work? How will I integrate this into my life? So we've got the why I need the information, here is the information, and then we have adults that begin to say, well, how does this, this affect me? The type four learners are asking the question, what if? What if I do it? What if I do it, what will it do to change my personal life or environment? How is it going to impact me? The type four learners, by the way, are the ones that, well, if they were to order a computer online, and the box came and was delivered to their front door. And on the outside of the box, it said, do not open until you've read all instructions. The type four learners, the what if people, they just rip that off, open the box and start plugging things in to try and figure out, to make it work. What if I do this? What if I do that? So each of us has, whether we're a presenter, a facilitator, a trainer, or a speaker, all of those things, when we're working with adults, we have these four different types of learners in our classroom or in our environment. So the question for us as trainers, speakers, facilitators, whatever, at the front of the room is how do we best get through to these folks? So I like to follow the MICE method. Number one, we want to motivate. We want to motivate the group to be involved and, and to answer the question why they should be involved. Two, we want to use the I, we want to inform. We want to give them the data, give them the information, give them the reason for the lesson, the objective for the lesson. C, we want to coach. We want to coach them how to utilize this, how to implement this in their business or personal lives, depending on the type of program that we're operating here. And four, we want to evaluate. We want to let the what ifs, the people that want to put it all together, we want to evaluate. Did they get the information? Are they utilizing it correctly? Will this help them in their lives? So this system here, these four learning styles, we call this the wheel. And as instructors or trainers or speakers, we want to get around that wheel every 20 to 45 minutes inside of a classroom environment. So each of the different parts of the wheel call for different activities. Now some of the activities will cross over and we go through that in the two-day program. However, there are activities that will best suit the one type learners, then the twos, then the threes, and then the fours. And we want to go around that wheel so that the classroom ultimately is totally involved in the lesson plan and the objectives of the program. In doing this, what will happen is we'll, we'll have a room full of adults walk out and it may cause a change in behavior. And that's, that's usually why we're speaking, is we're trying to cause a change of behavior. So hope that you'll take a look at this, implement this in your training practices. All the success.